Hi, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can disable commands that players won't be able to do in script on your server. This could be on Minehut or any other server that uses script. I also want to show you the brief plan for the video because there are two ways I'm going to show you how to do this, each with their own advantages and disadvantages. And unfortunately I can't actually show you anything in game at the moment as my internet is not working. So the first way is going to be how to disable a single command and that's just going to be, well I'll show you how you do that. And that's good because it's pretty quick to implement if you just want to get rid of one or two commands. However, you could miss one if you're trying to sort of blanket prevent a bunch of commands that players can't do. But yeah, this is good as it's very, very easy to implement. The second way is going to be a list of commands that the players can do. And I use this in my servers. And this does take a bit longer to set up at the start, not too long. But once you do, it's uh, one line to add a new command. And then you can even add a description for each of the commands that players can do if you use this method here. What that means is you could have, say, some commands command that lets players see all of the commands available on the server. And if you want, you can then give the description, and that's a really elegant uh, way to do that, I think. And then uh, you can subscribe if you'd like. And this first method, I'm very sorry, but I can't test it at the moment. As I've said, I don't have internet. So this way, I'm fairly certain it works. And if it doesn't, then please use the second method and that I've tested and it does work. So basically what we're going to do is when a player executes a command, we just want to see, uh, first we need to put down the trigger actually, and that just means that it will run the code in this indent section. We just test the name of the command. So we literally just say if command equals, and then this is where we can put in uh, the name of the command. So if it's me, then that will be when players do slash me, this condition will be true. And as I said, I can't test it. I don't know if this is me or slash me or if this is equal to like this or is. I'm pretty sure in script anything will work because of how uh, strange it is. For a single command prevention, just on command trigger, if the command is this, then cancel event. And this will prevent it. However, if you say one opts to still be able to do this, you could add your own tests for the player's permission level or any scores or any variables that may be assigned to them. So we could just say, for example, if player is not op. So then we only want to cancel it if they are not op. And then we could also send them a message to player. And in script that should work, I believe. So it's gonna on command, if their command is equal to this and they're not op, they're not an operator on the server, then it's going to cancel it, and then, uh, good spelling. Yeah, I, I don't know how you spell that word, but anyway, this code should work if you just want to disable a single command, and you can copy this if you have multiple. But now I'm going to show you the second, in my opinion, more elegant way to do this. Okay, so quickly, the way this method works is there'll be a list that's a, for the server, a variable list, that will contain a bunch of strings. And when a player executes a command, it will just see if their command is in this list. And if it's not inside of it, then it will cancel it. And this I prefer more because instead of choosing what commands you're disabling, you're just giving a list of all of the commands they can do. I've got a separate section in my server. And this is for commands that can, they can only do in combat. I'm not going to cover that in this video unless maybe a lot of people ask. Just learn some script basics and then you should be able to make some kind of similar system. In order to do this, the first thing is we're going to need a function and this is just going to create a list. So you can call this this variable what you want, but this colon indicates that it's a list that's being uh, used and this, uh, I think asterisk, I'm not sure what that symbol is, this indicates it is referring to the entire list. And then what we can do while we could probably have a list. We could just say it equals this, but I like doing this because it's quite easy to edit them and the line doesn't get too long. And this, it doesn't need to be optimized too much because it just happens once when the server loads. So say so I want the command discord to be allowed at all times, commands, rules, and all sorts. So this is all you need to do, put the commands in this list. But then this function is only going to execute if we call it, right? So. What we can do is on load. This doesn't have to be on load. This could be on any event, but unless you're going to change it live, uh, on load would be a good one. 
and then we literally just um, we run this and then when the script loads it will run this and then execute all of this code if you don't know there's other videos that explain how you can install script and how you can load the file but you end up typing sk reload and then the name of the, the folder without the .sk extension. However, that is not going to work yet because while this list is going to be perfect and contain all of the right commands, we still need to actually check this when a player executes the command. And while all of this is... Okay, so this code is for uh, my server, so it's got more than you need, so don't worry too much about it. But the essential part is around here, okay? So we're seeing if the sender is a player, and I just have that, so if the console needs to execute a command, it's not going to get prevented, uh, because it's not in the list. But here is the basic logic. So we have the list from earlier, and if it does not contain command type, and we set that to command. So you could just do command, I believe, but I like doing it in a variable because it's nicer, I think. So just if that list that we made earlier does not contain that command, then we also want to see if the player is not up, meaning if they're up, they can bypass this. It's just going to send them, uh, this command is not enabled on the server, and then cancel it. And then you can add in, if you want, your own logic to change it how you want, but just learn the script basics if you want to understand that. Then the final part of this video is the set command descriptions, okay? And this I don't know, but you can probably think of a way to optimize this further. But we just have a function that is set command descriptions, and this will also have to be called on loading, or it should be called on loading at least once if you want to refresh the list. And then we clear the list, and then this is the, the interesting part. We put the list and then the index of the name of the command, and then just a string of the description itself, okay? A home list is just show a list of all your saved homes, and you can do this for all of the commands. And then this is going to be used in some command that I can do. And basically what it does is makes a huge message of all the commands and their descriptions. That uh, description, we can just have the command description and then index it based on that. So the loop value in this case is going to be the name of the command. And that's going to work because of this line here, which is loop all allowed commands. Commands and then trigger this indent. And it's just going to be loop uh, this. And then you can use the loop value variable. And that's going to be the command. So this is just going to send a list. It's going to be like slash discord, slash buy. And just send that to the player, okay? Oh, there's a dog barking outside. But yeah, if you did find this helpful at all, please subscribe. And uh, I don't know, like it or something. Uh, thank you. Bye.